Hello, everybody. So my name is Jeremy Elborn, and I'm here today to talk to you about Angular CDK and Angular Material in 2018. CDK stands for Component Dev Kit. And the main purpose of the CDK is to provide tooling for developers, particularly component authors, to create their own custom components. So the main thing I'm here to talk to you today about is what's new with the CDK and material in 2018. So the thing I'm most excited about is new schematics for Angular material. For a long time, we've wanted to provide a way to let people build out more complex interactions than just single components. We have a brand new tree component for both the CDK and material that follows the pattern of that data table. And this is really useful for any time you want to render out hierarchical data or have some kind of hierarchical interaction pattern. Uh, we have in that overlay package I mentioned, there is a new feature that we call flexible positioning that lets the overlay code for you specific to material design. We have a new badge component for showing these lightweight inline notification markers and bottom sheets for a mobile-specific modal interaction pattern, is I need to set up Angular Material for my application. But I don't have to do that with version 6.0 anymore. So I'm just going to say ng add. It's useful that I, if I type add, ng add Angular Material. So I'm going to show you just real quick what this did. First, let's look at this angular.json. We'll see this added a theme file, which is needed for Angular Material since we support multiple different themes. We can look at the index.html and see that this has added for us the material design icon font and the Roboto font, ng module for the root of the application that added the browser animation module so that all of the anim animations for Angular Material work correctly. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to say ng generate from Angular Material a material nav. And I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it main nav. We have our application navigation. There. So let's go ahead and generate uh, something new. So let's say again ng generate from Angular Material. We are going to generate a material table. And we're going to call that one just main table. Pop back over to my browser, and there's our table. It has sorting automatically set up for it uh, on each of these columns. It has a name and an ID column, which is pretty common for most tables. And there's a paginator down here as well. Something new that we're adding in 6.0, which is a new tree component. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the tree module. Our tree is going to need a couple of things in order to render out some data. The first is it's going to need some data just adding a data source here. And that is part of what we need for this tree. We have the data, but we need to be able to tell the tree how to unroll that data, how to traverse that data. And we do that by specifying a tree control here as well. We add a container here that is going to have the mat tree node outlet. And this outlet is where those children node will be rendered. And we pop back over here, and we have our whole rendered out tree data. Uh, so we can expand and collapse our tree nodes here. Yay. And you can see it's hidden for <laughs> moving forward. So one of the big things we're doing is drag and drop in the CDK. This is going to be low-level primitives so that you can do drag and drop in your own components. And then we'll be using that drag and drop code in Angular Material for things like movable dialogues and reorderable lists. We're also working on virtual scrolling in the CDK so that you can render large sets of data, but only actually render what appears in the viewport. And then we'll be using that again in Angular Material and the components like the select and the autocomplete and the data table. And speaking of the data table, we're working on more enhancements for that. Thank you for coming.